you see these fish? Do you see how elegant these fish are? That's what Maradona's about. Let's go. All right, guys, we hit up Pele just a few days ago, and you know that definitely means we're going to hook it up with Maradona. His dribbling skills were insane, and if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know we're more interested in getting you to understand principles rather than just copying a move. So if you want to be a lethal attacking player, you have to train until you internalize all of these things, which is why by the end of this video, you'll understand not only how to do the moves, but why they work. We are getting straight into dissecting one of the most legit 1v1 players of all time. And stepovers weren't too much of his style. He had an ability to get around defenders using body feints and misdirection. Check this first move, which seems like nothing more than just flicking the ball to one side. So much setup goes on to make this successful. First, your speed. It won't work if you go slow. The reason for this is that you need to force the defender to choose. Go at them slow and you can forget it. Next, notice that from the beginning we go straight and then we take a touch out at an angle as if that's where we're headed. This is key. First we build up speed, then we take a touch towards the left or right and now a simple flick that comes from our hip and the snapping of our ankle. If you can do these things, you're gonna cause problems for a defender. Check Maradona's goal in the 1986 World Cup against Belgium to see a perfect example of how it's done. Now, most of you are gonna be expecting the Maradona roulette, which of course has its uses, but before that, it's worthwhile to talk about how crazy sick his shielding ability was. For not being a big guy, it was incredibly tough to get the ball off him, and that was because he understood the principle of putting as much distance between the ball and the defender as he could. We actually touched on this move in our top five moves for defenders, and it doesn't matter what position you play, it works, and that's all you care about. If you think you're gonna beat the opposing player to the ball first, get your foot on the ball and then slam your body into the other guy. From there, the power is in your hands to lay it off, spin, or even shoot. Now, with the Maradona Roulette, just realize that the same thing applies. If you want it to be effective, you have to recognize the right time to make it happen. Beat the player to the ball and get out. We've already done a full tutorial on the move, so check it out right down below. We've got some other videos planned where we're gonna go over this a bit more in depth, but Maradona had his own versions of the chop and they were lethal because he could get around people even if he really wasn't going that fast. Like we said earlier, misdirection is where it's at, but you have to free yourself and your mind in order to play like this. Top players can dribble into a sea of defenders with the understanding that whatever happens, they'll have the technical ability to get out of trouble, which is why we finish everything up today with technical work. Guys, get used to it. And I mean, seriously, get used to the idea of being obsessed about improving your ability to control the ball. Whether that's dribbling through cones, pinging accurate balls, or juggling, you will never bring the best out of you if you don't train these things. So as you can see, Professor B. Millie and I are getting through the cones using the stuff we trained earlier in a nice small little setup. You don't need cones, and we're not gonna give you guys precise instructions on the drill. Use these as ideas to start flexing the part of your brain that will allow you to be more creative on the field and in your training. If you can find 20 to 30 minutes for this stuff, great. If you can't, take five minutes and adjust from there, but don't skip it. We pros do this stuff in training every week because when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the game and you have to make something happen, you want to be accurate and dependable. So get after it if you want to change your game. That's the vid, guys. Make sure to check out everything down below, goloremi.com. Give us a like, comment about the Ferris wheel. Definitely subscribe. We will see you guys later. Peace.